Hey everybody, Digging Rinks here. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating my reverse electrolysis unit, which I use to clean up my silver and gold finds. Um, most of the time I don't have to clean the gold, but uh, occasionally I will if it's been there a while. But uh, I pulled out a couple of recent finds, a couple of 925 rings. This one I found on my last trip out. It's a silver eternity band with uh, CZs circling the entire ring. And the other one just a plain silver band 925 with a heart design. Uh, this one's pretty heavily corroded. It's probably been there maybe six months or even a year. This one was a recent drop. Probably wasn't there any more than three four days. But um, here's my setup. I have baking soda. I have the container with about two inches of water. I have two wires uh, going to it from the unit which I need to plug in. But um, Here's the actual unit with the current adjustment knob and this allows me to adjust the current uh, from a low setting to a high setting depending on how much cleaning I need to have done on the object. And um, What I'm going to be doing is taking one of these rings, uh, you see what they look like before I clean them and uh, I have a couple still photos as well, but um, I'm going to be taking this and connecting it onto this clip and submerging it just below the water line and just above that stainless steel plate and um, I'm gonna have to shut the camera off to do that but uh, I'll show it to you when I have it going here I've added some baking soda about two tablespoons worth into the water and stirred it up made a mixture and this particular ring will probably require about maybe five or ten minutes in the in the unit um, to get it real shiny so I'm going to do that now. I'll turn the unit on, plug these two wires in, positive and negative, and um, I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, I um, have everything going here now. I have the ring attached to the clip. Uh, the unit is on. As you can see by the light, I have it set at the number three, just slightly under three. Uh, this ring is going to clean up very quickly because it isn't very corroded. But uh, if you look closely, I don't know if the camera can capture it or not, but uh, you see the little bubbles coming from the ring now with the current uh, passing from A to B. And um, any corrosion is going to be transferred from the ring to that plate. And um, you can see from previous uses that the plate is pretty dirty. I do have to clean it with sandpaper on occasion. But um, <clears throat> I'll get back to you in a minute when I pull this ring out. And um, uh, word of note, when I do pull it out, what I'll do is I'll take uh, my electric toothbrush, which I have here. This guy right here, it's just a plain uh, electric toothbrush. And um, I'll take some baking soda, put some on the brush itself, and I'll uh, use it to fine tune, polish the ring once it comes out of here. And um, I'll show you the results. Okay, I have the second ring in the unit right now, and um, you can see the way the corrosion is starting to fall off in chunks. Um, this ring is probably going to require about uh, 10 minutes in the unit at uh, a setting of about 6 or 7, which I have it on right now. And it um, should clean up pretty nicely. I'll pull it out and uh, polish it up and show you the result. But um, this is a pretty good setup, and it will clean the most heavily corroded items. Uh, one word, it does not work on iron. Uh, I do not bother cleaning iron objects. Um, it, uh, it's not worth it to me. But um, silver, sometimes I have to clean gold and it uh, comes out pretty nice. Okay, these two rings are finished now. And, um, here we have the Eternity Band, which uh, cleaned up pretty nicely. I did leave a little bit of a purplish hue to it. And um, I believe that's because of the alloy that was used in this particular ring. So it's really not quite as shiny as it could be, but that is the best that's going to be uh, had. Uh, still pretty happy with it. It's a really pretty ring. Uh, did clean up quite a bit. Uh, the other one is the one that was really heavily corroded and uh, was actually there quite a while. And that one cleaned up pretty nicely. Um, you can easily see the stamps inside of it, uh, the 925, and then there's a ring size. I don't know if the camera will capture that or not, but um, I cleaned it up using the uh, toothbrush after I pulled it out of the container. And um, you can see there is a big difference. And um, 
that's uh, how it all works. And uh, good luck to all of you. I'll be going out at the end of this week again. And I uh, also expect to be doing some more fishing videos. And um, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the comments and uh, a lot of good people out there. And uh, wish the best for you. See you in the next video.